Yeah. All right, Amy. Yeah. What park are we at? We are at Shellha. Yeah. Shellha. In, like Tulum, Mexico. Tulum, Mexico, and we just walked in, and there's some dolphins behind us. Like Simone Biles. <laughs> Simone Biles style dolphins. Look at that. Way higher than you expect. For no reason. We don't know what's going on. They apparently have food here and dolphins. That's all I know so far. No. We're gonna kick it off. <laughs> kick it off? Right about now. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Did you see that? That's crazy. Man, now I want to go to the buffet. I can't believe it is. I'm exhausted just watching this. That was cool. <laughs> so, Amy, you know what our first thing is? Whoa, what is that? Is that one of those? It is a really old rock. But let me show them what our first thing is. This Tower of Terror. I don't know how to get there, but I hear people screaming, so that's usually a good sign. It's up there somewhere. So one thing I note about like foreign parks, I get lost in them. Yeah. Like I don't know. We've been walking for a while. We see this giant thing, but finding the entrance is tricky. And now a word about our sponsors, BetterHelp. Running a small business and media company has been an incredible journey, but it's been the constant grind. I find myself working 12-hour days, seven days a week, and it's starting to take its toll on my well-being. I'm always focused on a new task, new client, new deadline, and I rarely take a moment to slow down and enjoy life. It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of entrepreneurship, but I've come to realize that neglecting my mental health is not a suitable way to live. I know that speaking to a therapist would be valuable in helping me find a better work-life balance and rediscover the joy in my daily life. That's where BetterHelp can assist. BetterHelp is the sponsor of today's video and they offer online therapy that's tailored to meet your needs. And now you can a connect word with a licensed therapist BetterHelp. to comfort you in your own home through video chats, phone calls, and even messaging. They have a network of over 30,000 therapists, so you can find the right fit for you. And if you're not satisfied with your therapist, you can easily switch it up at no additional cost. I'll put all the link information below, and there's even a special discount for your first month of therapy. Your mental health is worth investing in, and that's where BetterHelp can help you. It's time to get started. <laughs> I didn't realize this, this was the ocean. So the dolphins and the stingrays are just local. That's pretty cool. All right, you guys ready for the view at least? Let's see what this looks like. This is supposed to be the ocean view path. What? What? Are you kidding me? This is pretty. All right. We still didn't make it to that. Where? Oh yeah. What is that? It's some kind of crows. They're huge. Vultures. Well, there's some fossilized. Um, Beep. It's fossilized coral. Yeah. Lots of it, obviously. So we can actually just swim out in the ocean if we want. It says do not enter, but in theory. The waves die down. See, we're red right now. We just go out into this ocean. This is beautiful. Me without my sunglasses. Holy shit. Sh sh holy sunny. <laughs> it is bright out here with this white concrete and the sun. All right, so the park looks like it's based around what appears to be a lagoon as we're learning. <laughs> Oh, they got the racer boat, that boat that will like yeah. take you 90 kilometers an hour and whip you around. Looks like they had a couple of those. Look how blue it is. Look how blue it is. So this is pronounced Zoha or Shoha? Shellha. That makes sense. 
solo personnel staff only. Wonderful. So let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about this stunning natural aquatic water park. It's located in Riviera Maya in Mexico near Tulum. It's known for its beautiful lagoons, cenotes, lush jungle surroundings, and offerings for visitors to explore marine life through snorkeling, swimming, and various water activities, including cliff diving. And although there's a dope water slide, the park is designed for ecotourism, promoting conservation and sustainability with amenities, including scenic paths, hammocks, restaurants, and even local cuisine. So the park is known for its underwater jets. The zip bike is a fun adventure for a lot of folks. Of course, we've all seen that water slide and it's absolutely fantastic. It's one of the longest water slides that you'll ever experience. There's a bunch of zip lines. A tube river for relaxing. And there's an amazing rope bridge. So there's plenty of activities for you and your whole family to have an incredible adventure. So one thing I'll note is that Amy and I got kind of lost when we got there. We didn't realize that the entire park is one big circle around the lagoon with a bridge that you can cross at one end, but it just circles around. So we didn't know that and we didn't know exactly where to go. To Amy's immediate right, there is swimming with stingrays and there's various stations where you can just grab a life vest, grab a snorkel and just jump into the lagoon. Tickets were about $100 a person for adults and this included our shuttle from the hotel zone in Cancun, but it was a couple hours to get there in hindsight, I might have tried to take a taxi and get there a little bit quicker. I will note that this is some of the most beautiful water that I've ever had a chance to swim in. And as we got to swim in this water a little bit later, we realized that there were some enormous fish. It's wavy. And for those of you who are interested in crapping your pants, guess what? There's a power boat adventure that's gonna blow your mind. It's called Accelerina. It goes fast through the water and it's an absolute thrill ride. So what do you think folks? Would you try Accelerina? If you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button Leave us some comments and whoa, I don't know if all that water was supposed to happen, but it is a lot of fun. One thing I will say about this park is you absolutely need to pace yourself in the summer. I have to admit, just walking around the park was exhausting. We went in August and it was hot. It felt good to get into the water and it felt good to get a snack at the snack bar. Yeah, they've got a buffet snack bar that is all you can eat, all you can drink, and it's included. To cool off, we decided to wade in the water a little bit. Amy's a bit of a mermaid in the water. She's a real natural.
And from there, we just swam over to some caves. And I feel like in the United States, this wouldn't be part of a theme park, but it was really fun and adventurous. You see, there's already some other people in the cave just poking their heads through the holes, swimming around and trying not to kick anything too sharp. Whoops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to show Amy's butt. I really couldn't see what I was recording because it was underwater, but it seemed like kind of fun to test out the iPhone's ability to record underwater. I also tried to get us to some areas that didn't have as many people. It was a pretty busy park, but it wasn't really overcrowded. I did like that, and if you just wanted to walk around, it was a great place to walk around. So yeah, these are the cenotes, or caves, that Amy talked about. Honestly, it was a fun adventure, and I loved getting out of the heat and just splashing around in the water a little bit. Probably not as exciting as the boat, but still fun. There is also a lazy river scenario if you aren't as adventurous. But honestly, this park took some work. You're gonna put some steps in, you're gonna go up and down some hills. Your calves are probably gonna be pretty tired by the end of the day. So don't go into this if you don't wanna get a little bit of a workout. Even with the lazy river, there's plenty to do. And for anyone interested, here's a look at the crowded buffet area. Not a lot of air conditioning to be had, but you know what? There was plenty of ice cream and there was plenty of hamburgers and hot dogs to go around. The margaritas were included and so were the tequila shots. So I gotta say that Amy cooled down with a couple of margaritas and they accidentally gave her a tequila shot. So all I can say is a good time was had by all. And you're gonna have a good time at this park. Whether you just wanna enjoy the buffet, use the lazy river, swim at the stingrays, or watch the dolphins, you're probably gonna have a real good time. So I'm going to leave you with one last look at the lagoon. This is probably the last thing that we saw before we headed home. Instead of waiting till 6 p.m. for the bus, which would be a three-hour adventure, we went ahead and paid about $100 to take us back to our hotel directly with a taxi. There were taxis waiting outside, and I gotta admit, it was probably worth saving a couple hours of time and taking that taxi ride home. You can see this is absolutely beautiful. If you're afforded the opportunity, you should definitely go and check it out. Just be prepared to walk. And I'd be curious to hear from you if you watch our videos just because you want to see our adventures, because you're going on an adventure, or you're living vicariously through us. Thanks for watching. You know I love and appreciate you, and check out a few more of our videos.